Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, this will be just a quick unboxing of something very cool. This is an ON30 Spectrum Bachman locomotive. It's a 50 ton center cab narrow gauge locomotive. So why did I get it? Why do I have it? And why an ON30? All right, so first off, why I got it. Well, I got it because, you know, when I recently went to Hawaii, and I've told you this in other videos, that I was looking for the railroads there on Oahu. I heard about them, so I wanted to find them. And if you know the story, it wasn't easy for me to find them. It's been there since, I don't know, 1889, so the railroad's been there forever, but almost nobody knows it exists. Yeah, it's kind of funny. And we're talking about a real railroad. This isn't some sugarcane plantation railroad with some little locomotive zooming up and down the sugarcane fields. It's a real railroad. Yes, it hauled sugarcane, pineapple, timber, garbage. It hauled everything. Cattle. Cattle was the big thing they used to haul. So yes, this is a real railroad. It's been around since 1889. It just isn't as big as it used to be. There used to be tracks all over Oahu. And since the invention of fancy highways and good quality roads, rail isn't as important as it used to be. Except maybe historical value and the fact that trains like this are cool. About a month ago, when I returned from one of my recent trips to Oahu, I posted a little preview video. Say, hey, check it out. This is the Hawaiian Railway, Hawaiian Railway Society. You can go to their website. Check it out. They have these cars and trains, and here's their yard and locomotives, and it's historical, and it's really cool, and I bet you never knew there was trains like this on Oahu. So that's about the gist of that first preview video, and I need to make some more in-depth videos, and I plan on quite a few. So I was thinking, you know, I have HO trains. I have trains of various gauges and models. It would be cool if I could maybe find a locomotive like they have there in Hawaii to put on my HO track for my train setup. Wow, that would be cool. And like most things uh, in my life, it was easier said than done. Let me just tell you why. Number one, first and foremost, we're talking ON30 scale, which isn't standard HO scale, but it uses the HO track. I guess it, I don't know, it was started in France or somewhere over in Europe but it runs on the HO or O scale rail. So that's kind of neat. You don't have to buy a new rail for it, but this will not be size scaled properly compatible with your other locomotives and HO trains. That was the first problem. The other problem, and this one, it's probably just as big as the first problem is, they use Whitcomb locomotives there. Very cool. Amazing. That's what the Navy used there, and these are old Navy locomotives they have. But as it turns out, the GE locomotives of this style were much more common. So when I was searching for this one for my railroad, I kept coming upon the GE 45 tonners, the 45 ton GE locomotives. And I was like, oh man, I cannot find a 45 ton Whitcomb. Oh, but I did find one from this company in Southern California, and it was about 1100 and some odd dollars, and it took a couple months to get. So I think they were custom casting it. I don't know what they were doing. And that was on sale for $1,100. So it would probably be quite a bit more if you didn't find it on sale. I, oh, man. But what I was able to find, and it's kind of a cheat here, honestly, this is... A Bachman Spectrum ON30 50 ton center cab. To the casual observer, well, me, maybe not all of you out there, but to the casual observer, this 50 tonner looks pretty close to the 45 tonner. So I am betting, or I am counting on, that the average person won't be able to tell that this isn't really a 45 ton Whitcomb, it's a 50 ton Whitcomb. What are you trying to pass off there? And I'm going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was. Yeah. That was the other problem. Number one, ON30, hard to find. This, even more hard to find. So if it's any consolation at all, I was finally able to find three of these Bachman Spectrums for between $275 and $299 each. No, I didn't buy three. There was three different models. I just bought one for $275 and 67 cents with free shipping. And that was after days, well, hours, 
of searching to try to find what I wanted for my own little Hawaiian railway that I was going to build. And, oh, it was horrible. And then eventually when it arrived, there's a little coupon for 10% off my next purchase from the hobby shop or retailer. And I went to their personal website instead of on Amazon where I was. And they actually had it on sale for $235. I was like, oh, man. Did I buy a second one for that $235 and then with another 10% off? No, I didn't because $275 for one locomotive, that's a lot of money. Maybe not for you, but it's a lot of money for me. And it's especially a lot of money because this isn't exactly what I wanted. This is a 50-tonner and I wanted a 45-tonner. So I'm happy enough with it. But what I intend to do is I intend to paint this locomotive up to be like locomotive 423 that the Hawaiian Railway Society runs. And that one is green, a dark green with the yellow on there. So of my choices of this, I think the choice was orange and white, yellow and gray. I went with the yellow because then I just got to put green on it. Will I ever get around to doing this? Man, I hope so. But I just need to get this thing running on my rail. I haven't even done that yet. I just took it out of the box. It's very cool. It's highly detailed. Amazing attention to detail. The side windows open. You have an engineer in there. And it, this is just a good looking locomotive. The attention to detail is amazing. And for size comparison, here it is next to some other HO locomotives I have. Clearly it is not sized to be with your standard HO locomotives and rolling stock. So the next thing I had to do was, I said, well, if I'm going to make my own little Hawaiian railway in my studio, I'm going to need some passenger cars to tow behind this thing. The Hawaiian Railway Society has several of these open-sided cars, which they take people on tours. Here they are. Very cool looking. We could ride in this. In fact, we will ride in it. But I need to make a representation of this for my own personal railway. And it didn't take long for me to realize that I'm not going to be able to make one of these out of a standard HO car because the scale's going to be wrong. So then I had to go online again and I had to buy some ON30 scaled cars. And then the next dilemma was, well, you know, I have to find something that looks kind of like what the finished product needs to be, and I'll have to do modifications to it. So I bought two different things. I bought like a coal hopper type car and then some other car, and then we'll modify them and try to get them to look like these passenger touring cars. And then finally, if I ever get around to making, well, I'm going to try, but if I ever get around to accomplishing this, then I will actually spend the money for a very cool parlor car to be like Dillingham's parlor car. And in theory, I can have my very own little Hawaiian railway in my own home. If you're a train fan, you'll say, hey, that's actually pretty cool. If you're not a train fan, you might say, hey, that's actually pretty cool, but good luck with that. So we'll see how well it's going to work out. But I just want to show you really quick what this locomotive looks like tell you about what an ON30 scale is, how it compares to HO, and how much this thing costs. Look at the price of this. Well, because they're not that common. Not everybody and their brother has one. Some people never even heard of a Whitcomb locomotive. The real locomotive that I'm trying to copy, Locomotive 423, was a World War II Navy locomotive. And I did a little bit of research, and there were quite a few of these Navy locomotives out there in various places around the world. They just don't seem to be the most popular things for model railroading. Hey, I don't know. So I'm going to work on my own Hawaiian Railway. So I'll put a link to their website down in the description section of this video. Go check out their homepage. If you haven't done it yet, you can check out my little preview video where I took some video and some pictures. You should be impressed. Well, of course, you'll be impressed. It's a railway. It's a train, and it's in Hawaii. All right, so that's what I got planned. Will I be able to do it? Well, let's hope so, because it's starting to cost me a lot of money. All right, so have you been to Hawaii? Have you been to Oahu? Did you know there were trains there? Have you actually been there and seen the trains? If you have not, I'm telling you, the next time you go to Oahu, take the 15 or 20 minutes from Waikiki or Honolulu from your hotel and drive over there and check it out. It's worth checking out. So, leave your comments in the comment section, and as always, thanks for watching, and yeah, I hope to get this done someday. Bean
Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>